Also, uh, as far as coronavirus, for the fourth time in a week, Florida is breaking pandemic records. The CDC reporting 58,000 new cases for the state on Wednesday. We also saw record single day highs on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and yesterday. Now, the easily transmissible Omicron variant is to blame. Although it is highly contagious, the symptoms appear to be much less severe. Despite that, concerns over the virus continue. Both the airline and the cruise industries all feeling the effects tonight. And right before the New Year's holiday, testing lines overloaded with people trying to see if they are infected. As Fox 35's Daniel Lama reports, the latest surge is not stopping those year in celebrations, though. This spike in COVID cases happening right before New Year's Eve, but a lot of parties throughout Central Florida, like the one here at Wall Street, are scheduled to go on. Will Omicron keep people away from the big New Year's Eve parties? That's what Central Florida business owners are trying to figure out. I'm hopeful to see what happens for this in the new year. Officials say the iconic orange drop in downtown Orlando is not happening because of construction, but Church Street bars will be open. Wall Street is hosting its big block party, and in Thornton Park, celebrations will also take over the streets. We get the overflow from everything. Devin Tillman owns Island Time. He says with COVID, he's not sure how many people will be at the block party, but he hopes it's in the thousands. Hopefully, you know, people are staying safe and, you know, we are respecting each other and, uh, you know, staying as part as much as we can. Down on I Drive, the owner of Ice Bar Orlando says he thinks he'll have a record year. Because it's a Friday, there's more travelers in town than there were last year. Tom Kerr says his VIP tickets for New Year's Eve sold out last month, but because of COVID, he'll still keep the crowd under capacity. We've just reinforced our protocols. We haven't really let down our guard as far as what we're doing internally. With plenty of parties going on across Central Florida, some say they still plan to stay home. It's keeping the big party by doing the big party in the house. Staying in, I don't want to catch Corona. Back downtown, City District Orlando says masks will be available for anyone who wants one, but each business will have its own COVID protocols. In Orlando, Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News.